Shop today, sharpening chainsaws. We had a big windstorm come through, so we're cleaning up around the habitat areas. Had a couple trees fall, so that's what we're doing. So how many chainsaws do you guys run down here? We have five. Do you have them running all the time? Yeah, it uh, keeps us busy for sure. What all kinds of things goes into cost-wise of maintaining these cha these five chainsaws that you use for we have, the sanctuary? Um, chains, they normally run around $30 a piece, depending on which saw. Air filters, bars, oil, um, the mix. Normally, just to outfit a saw, you're running about $70 just to keep it going. And these are pretty, pretty vital for keeping the sanctuary in condition. Yeah, if you don't hit any rocks, um, a chain will normally last you quite a while. And are you pretty skilled at avoiding those rocks? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you later, Tim. All right. Okay, here we are with Tim again, showing us another chainsaw and explaining why they have different size chainsaws. This saw is a little smaller for uh, topping out trees. We have a sky track here on property that we can use for clearing out around habitat fences. And now, and it what is it, a sky track? It's a lift that um, telescopes up and. So, a large it. piece of equipment. And then you finished telling us about what you were doing with the, why the chainsaws, the smaller chainsaw? It's easier to handle when you're up in the air. Um, it's got a 16 inch bar on it, so it's real lightweight. You can handle it with one hand if you need to. Okay. And again, this is for doing trees around the habitats. And why would you want to do that? To uh, keep up with regulations. You don't want branches touching the fences. Okay.